Welcome to Burger Week. We have chosen three different destinations to try out some delicious burgers. We will be visiting Beef Eater, Five Guys and Wendy's. Today, we're at Five Guys. Five Guys Enterprises is an American fast food restaurant chain focused on hamburgers, hot dogs, and French fries. It's been around since 1986. Five Guys franchises didn't exist until 2003. Today, there are more than 1,300 locations nationwide across the United States. There are more than 250,000 ways to order a burger. There are no freezers whatsoever at Five Guys. And Five Guys only uses peanut oil. How many toppings can you get on each one? As many as you want. As many as you want. Okay. You can have all of you on it. might be a bit too much. Let's take a look at this. Oh, we basically customize it. Yeah. Do you want? Do they? Ha so I don't think this is mine because mine has the pickles and stuff. So this must be yours. Do you want to open it? Just so that we could be definitively clear. This because is definitely yours. I also got the jalapenos. Yeah, I think so. So this. It's a soggy burger because I had a lot of stuff in it. So I have lettuce, tomatoes, um, pickles, um, jalapenos, um, also mushrooms, onions. This is going to be rather messy. So. How am I going to fit it? Rather big. Oh dear, I hope I don't get it all over me. Uh, I haven't got as much as you, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat it like this, you see. <laughs> oh god, it's still quite hot. Because I, my mouth won't fit the whole one. Mmm. Mmm, you can smell the beef. And it's lovely, it smells good. Do you know? This is a bit like Shake Shack, if you ask me. Maybe I could have done with a knife and fork. Yeah, I think so. It's a bit messy. So this is quite big, um, and I think that juices have made it kind of moist, which is why I think this foil does a really good job. So let me try to... Very juicy. Nice and crisp. Mm. Now a word of warning about the fries. We did notice a sign that said that they are cooked in peanut oil. So if you've got an allergy, just be cautious, I think. They've been left with um, the skins partially on. Isn't that how I make the chips too? Mmm, <laughs> yeah. And they're not greasy. Yeah, I think that it's pretty good. Yeah. What's this? More ketchup and mayo? They didn't have too much mayo. <laughs> 
So this is a big chunk of ketchup. <laughs> People are used to seeing ancient monuments in this show mm. and I'm not just talking about us so please subscribe <laughs> so what was your verdict Paul do you know what I liked about this I like the fact of it being customizable so you could choose your hamburger and then there's up to 15 different toppings you could use. I think it's a good way for you to be picky about what you want and what you don't want. And I think that they were very generous with providing you with two bits of hamburger. I suppose in a way uh, the customization is a bit like Subway, uh, although this is rather more expensive. The good thing about this restaurant is, is that they don't play any music, which means that we can speak to you now inside without having a copyright issue later on or having to go outside and do it. Um, but as far as the food was concerned, the, the burger was really tasty. Sometimes when I smell a burger and I smell the meat, I can actually imagine I'm smelling like the cow. So maybe it isn't as off-putting as other burgers are, yeah. such as like the fast food chains. Well, that, uh, that's what I was going to say. I didn't. I got that <clears throat> kind of like um, beef burgery smell, but not the sort of like the meaty, or not a raw meat, but it almost smells like cow. There was one we went to in Oxford one time, and it was part of a chain. Oh, uh, burger. Uh, no, 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 it shall remain nameless. Um, but it was really, really off-putting. It began with a B. Um, now. One interesting fact is that uh, just suddenly sprang into my head. Why are beef burgers called hamburgers? Because there's no ham in them. That is true. But you give me the answer, although I did have to look it up online to make sure. It's because the beef burger was invented in Hamburg in Germany. So that's why it's a hamburger. So why else would it actually be called a burg or a burger? Um, it could have been called anything. I suppose if it had been invented in somewhere else in Germany let's just say Berlin for example it could have been a Ham Berlin a Ham, a Ham Berlin I just made that up on the spot we will put the prices of our meal up on screen and of course they are relevant to when this was recorded but um, how many points out of uh, five would you give this overall meal including the fries of course Five out of five? Yeah, I think i give it a five out of five as well. Did we mention that the fountain drinks are on free refillables, so you can keep going up as many times as you like. And as there were the two of us here, and we don't mind drinking out of the same cup, we only just got... one. We, we, we just got the one. That's the thing that our fries were in, by the way. So all in all, yeah. Huh? Oh, I thought that you finished. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a few left for you. This is you getting the thumbs it. up. And just as a little final aside, they even let you leave a little uh, comment on their notice board. I'm going to write something now. And it will be very positive.